Okay, so suppose that you are uh, solving a uh, problem and you get to a point where uh, the math is really difficult to simplify on your own. Say, for example, this problem where I would have uh, that my transfer function v naught of s over v of s is equal to s plus 5 times s squared plus 3s plus 5 over s squared all minus 2s and that whole thing is inverted. All right, that's really uh, going to be difficult for me to figure out by hand. And so I might actually want to use MATLAB as a symbolic math uh, tool. Okay, so uh, how we do that is we first need to define a symbolic variable. And we do that using the sims command in MATLAB. So we can type sims s. And it takes a little while, but what it does is it produces a symbolic variable s. All right, and you can see in the workspace over here that it says s one by one symbolic. All right, and then we just need to define our transfer function. I'll call it g for transfer function. Um, and we do this pretty much exactly like if we had a variable already defined. So uh, we're going to be taking uh, the inverse of what's going to be in these parentheses. In these parentheses, we're going to have uh, s plus 5 and we're going to multiply that by s squared plus 3s plus 5. All right, let's go back and check, make sure that's correct. s plus 5 times s squared plus 3s plus 5 and that whole thing is divided by s to the power 2 and uh, that to the power will happen. I don't have to put it in parentheses because of order of operations. That's what MATLAB does. All right, and then I got to take 2 times s. And actually, you'll see that over here I wrote 3s. It should be 3 times s. If you write 3s, it will uh, most certainly give you an error. All right, so that's one part. Um, and so, again, what I just wrote here is that. Actually, let's remove the inverse for now. Uh, so if I hit enter, I get this. And the first thing I want to show you with symbolic math, I can actually make this nicer and by using the command pretty. So pretty of G. And it looks like what I had uh, over there. The S plus 5, S squared plus 3, S plus 5 over S squared minus 2S. All right, so the pretty command will do that. And now I want to say G is equal to G to the power of minus 1, or 1 over g. Okay, and I get this result. And now I really want to simplify this. And there's a few commands which will get me to simplify things. Um, and it turns out that uh, not all of it, they all have different uh, uses. You can use uh, the, the most the best utility one is to use simple of g. And what this does is it runs it through every simpl simplification function available and then writes it in the simplest form it can, which is what has happened here. And what you miss if you look through this is that it simplifies in a bunch of different ways. And all of these things that it's written are actually uh, functions in MATLAB. There's, com there's combine, there's factor, there's expand etc. So um, what we might want to do is uh, use the collect command, collect g. And when we use the collect command what we actually get is uh, something that looks like a transfer function where we have factors of s. And we can actually make that pretty by using pretty of answer. And that looks much nicer at this point. Um, and then, of course, collect is useful. Other useful ones are expand. Uh, and uh, if you, again, just use the simple command, you can see which command gets you to the thing that you might want. In this case, uh, collect is exactly what we were looking for. And that's really all there is to it.